Hello everyone, welcome back to Automation Engineer channel. Today I will show you how to program the web server for PLC Cimatech S7-1200. The first step, I will create the new project here. I will put the name web server. Okay. Select new Create. Okay. We will config a new device. Add new device here. controller CPU 1214 ACDC relay here PG40 So this is the PLC. Okay, the first step we will uh, config the property for the PLC CPU. Right click here, select properties. The first of all, I will, I will setting the IP address. We come to the prof, profinet interface. Internet addresses. We put the I, IP uh, 192.168.0 1, and 2 okay so it's done for internet and rest the second step I, I will config the web server here we tick the activate the web server on all modules of this device here okay And we untick the permit set only with HTTPS. This this line mean uh, we just uh, just let the um, just create the web with the security here. The, the last S means security. So we untick for automatic update. We keep the tick here. Enable automatic update and for the user management in some application we will let the limit tick the user can access but in this application I will I will set for everybody can you and we will select the asset level here I will select on which that right up Select on its main. Everybody will have the role of administrative. Okay. So it's done for step two. And we come to the step three. The user defined page. And uh, to come this step, we need to uh, write down one file for the web design I already create one file for web design here here we can uh, use the software is the notepad to program to create the one HTML file here this is the uh, decode this is a very basic code for for the web user define of uh, this project. Okay, close it. 
come to the configuration the first is uh, HTML, HTML directory come here we select the path of that file automation web server here ok and default HTML page we come to and we select, select the index preview here this is the file HTML I create after that we will click on generate block wait for it ok so it's done next step I will create uh, a basic program control the motor first step I will create uh, three tech here stack motor motor I will select the output ok come to main in this project I just uh, show you how to program for the web server create the web server for PC so I just put here the basic very basic program Stop. Stop. And uh, motor. Okay. Okay. So it's done for a program to control the motor the basic program for the control the motor and next step we will, uh, in, will add the instruction www we come to here we come to communication the web server here we print it this instruction here will uh, initialize the web server of the CPU or synchronize the user defined web page with the user program in this CPU ok for the control DP I will put 333 and return value this is the, the error ok I will define that Okay. Yeah. Local memory define. Okay. Okay. So it's done for the uh, the program. Click here. We I will compile. Have where review on here. software if you want only uh, two if you want to okay we download to the POC okay okay it's Texas sorry I forgot to uh, plug the power to the PC. Okay, we start it again. ok 
okay we lot it we click on the continue with our synchronization stop on lot we finish we go online we monitor it okay the next step we will open the web server on the web browser we will put the IP of the PLC here 192.168.1 Zero point two. Enter. So this is the the display. We come to and enter here. User defined pages. Home page of the application. And you can see this is the the display of the web we create with the HTML file. And I can fix on the PLC here, yeah. and I will click on the stack. Okay, the motor st status convert to one, and uh, here I'm programming the HTML file when we click on the the stack here the big stack and will set to 1 and the big stock will reset to 0 and similar for the stock button here when we click the stop button the motor status will reset to 0 in the HTML file I program when we put we press the, the stop button here the stack pick will reset to 0 and the stop pick will set to 1 ok I will show you one more time the motor status is 0 here here we, can, we click on the stack the motor status 1 Okay, I will stop the motor. Stop. Okay. And now I, I will show you the program in the HTML. Here, we can open by Notepad. Here. And the AWP here. AWP is automation web programming. This is the one language, the web language built developed by Siemens for the POC model, which integrated the web server inside like S7 1200 or S7 1500. This is the, the the head here. What's the word? Seven one one thousand and two hundred. Yeah, this is config for the header of the web. The next one you can see this is the body. The first is this is the config for the the line, the running line here you can see in the title of the web the title on the top here the 
next one this one this is the con this is the program for two button the first button is start here and the second button is stop here inside of uh, the step button we will set the big stop in the PLC to reset to zero and set the big step in the PLC to one and same with the stop button okay and this this line for the motor status so this is the HTML program I will show you one more time here but the status is yellow it means stop we start it will auto on it will set to one here we will reset it's been uh, stop. Okay, it's stop. So it's done for the program for web server of the PUC S7 1200. I hope you like this video. Thanks for your watching. See you in the next video.